Hello, I'm Pat O'Hare, Chief Market Analyst for Briefing.com. Today is Monday, March 31st. The manufacturing sector's key indicator of broad activity is the ISM index. The survey of manufacturing purchasing managers, which will be released Tuesday at 10 o'clock Eastern Time, provides a broad brush on, act on activity and tends to lead the hard data of factory orders, production, and employment. The index has been below the neutral mark of 50 for two of the last three months. Another sub-50 reading is expected in March. A modest decline would be the eighth over the last nine months and would leave the index at a five-year low. The path ahead is largely dependent on business capital investment, which is edging lower. Durable goods orders have fallen at a 7% annual rate over the last six months. Production, meanwhile, is down 1% over the same period, largely due to the weakness in the auto sector. The forward risk is that expectations for a slowing economy may delay or cancel intended capital investment. Briefing.com looks for a slight decline in the March ISM index to 48. That's versus a 48.3 level in February. The consensus estimate calls for 47.5. Contraction levels in the key regional manufacturing indices and the downward longer term trend are consistent with a modest decline. Interestingly, the ISM argues that a level above 41 is consistent with positive overall economic growth. An inline level should not have much effect on the equity market given the very small decline expected. Outsized gains in either direction will provide a bigger reaction. On the upside, a return to a 50-plus level will reduce recession worries soon to be combated by massive fiscal stimulus. On the downside, a move below 45 would spur those recession concerns as weakening capital investment adds to the dire housing market and nearly flat level of consumer spending on an inflation-adjusted basis. I'm Pat O'Hare for Briefing.com. Thanks for listening.